A 9-11 memorial has arrived at the state capitol after making a brief stop in Kingdom City today. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Deborah Kendrick. Lucas has a night off. ABC 17's Zach Boetto joins us live in studio after talking to those who gathered at the firefighter memorial in Kingdom City today. And Zach, a motorcade escorted the 40-foot 9-11 memorial to the state capitol actually within the last few hours. Yeah, Deb, I spoke with Glenn Kochmeyer, the man driving that big truck. He said the motorcade made it to the state capitol safely, thanks to dozens of first responders and motorcyclists who showed up to escort the truck to the South Capitol lawn. With the 20th anniversary of 9-11 just days away, dozens of Missourians gathered at the Kingdom City, Missouri Firefighter Memorial to remember those lost. We're doing this because we want to make sure that people don't forget. A 40-foot semi-truck stamped with the words never forget across its side, along with every name for those who passed on 9-11, arrived at the memorial today after making stops all across the United States from San Diego to New Mexico to Texas to Arrowhead Stadium, tonight arriving in our state capital. Joe Torillo says he's happy to be here in Missouri. He's the man they call the last firefighter. He was pulled from the Twin Towers on 9-11. All across these great states of the Midwest, they come here, they want to be part of it, they want to meet me, they want to be able to hear my story, they want to be able to hug me and tell me how much they appreciate what we did on that day. And so for me, it's an obligation to be here. Next, the truck will stay at the Capitol through this weekend and Patriot Day celebrations with events on the South Capitol lawn. The state fire marshal says days like these make him proud to serve the people of Missouri. Uh, when we sign up for our careers, uh, we never know where we're going to be, what we're going to do any particular day. And I think that's, uh, you know, a piece of why we do what we do is it, just not knowing. But it, the commitment and the dedication that, uh, that we give each day for the people we serve, our family and our friends, uh, it makes it all worth that. Earlier we let you know the motorcade was taking Highway 54 and Glenn, the driver of that truck, said there were people waving American flags on at least 75% of the bridges and overpasses all the way to the Capitol in support of the movement. Deb? All right, Zach, thank you.